I will start by saving the drawing to a DXF format from the file type or files of select AutoCAD 2010, hit the save button. Now to plan what I am going to do. So first I want to extract point data from the DXF file. Then I want to save it to an Excel workbook. And finally, I want to label each point in the AutoCAD drawing automatically. First, I would start by importing the necessary libraries. And in this case, I would start with the EasyDXF. So import EasyDXF, which is the library that is going to deal with the DXF files. Next, I will define a function for extracting the points. To define a function in Python, you start with def, then the function name. In this case, I'll call it extract points. And between brackets, I'm going to provide the file path. So basically, that's the only input needed in order to make this function work. Then I would need to load the DXF file. So I created the doc variable equal easy DXF dot read file from the file path. Now I want to extract the points or do the actual process. So let me plan this first. I need in this case to iterate over all the points in the DXF drawing. So it will allow me then extract the data for each individual point. So in order to do that, I'm thinking to create a point list. So points equal empty bracket. Why I choose to make the points as a list, this is something you will get, you know, by experience and from practicing coding over time. I did this because I'm planning later on to iterate over the points. So the best thing to use here is a list so I can easily use a for loop and iterate over each point inside that list. Next, I will call the for loop. So for entity in doc dot model space bracket dot query bracket and the type is points, then it, it will be followed by a column. Now, what does this line mean? We are iterating over every entity in the model space with a query of points type. So it only will select or iterate over the points inside the DXF file and it will be each time in the entity variable. So imagine you have a bunch of points and this entity variable is going to choose them one by one and extract the data for every point. Next, I will be calling the points variable, the list of points dot append. And this is a method to insert information inside the list. And I'm using a tuple, which is uh, the parentheses brackets to store the X coordinate and Y coordinate inside the points list. So entity.dxf.location.x is going to give me the X coordinate. The same thing for the Y coordinate, dxf.location.y. And finally, I will return points, which is the data uh, will be extracted from the DXF file. So now the function is ready, but we haven't called it yet. Now let's try this part of the code. I will create a variable called file path equal. I have the DXF drawing uh, ready in this folder and I'll do the experiment now. Run the code over this DXF file. So I define the file path, then I will try the actual extraction now. So, so I created a variable called points and it's equal extract points, the function that I just defined, and it needs the file path like we said before. I modified the file path variable to file path underscore dxf just to differentiate it from what we've done in the function but you can use it as it is if you want now i will define that path inside the extract points function i run the code there is no errors but at the same time we haven't seen any results and that's because we've done the extraction but we need like a print function to print out the results. So now we need to print point coordinates. I will start with a for loop point in points and that's the reason why I had points as a list so I can iterate over them. So for point in points it will go for every point inside the list of points. I'm going to do print point so I'll start 
the text uh, point and then we'll insert a point number after that and then a colon x equal and get the first value in point which is the x coordinate and calling the y equal the second value inside the point which is the y coordinate if you remember we talked about the tuple and that tuple contains the first the first element in it is the x coordinate the second element is the y coordinate now we have an issue which is the point number it does appear not defined uh, so i defined it before the for loop point number equal one an initial value and then the point number will increase for each iteration so you could say plus equal uh, one which means basically equal the old value of point number plus one but this is like a shortcut point number plus equal one it will uh, increment the point number each time by one so i think everything if i run the code you can see now the list of these points shown in the terminal so we've successfully done the first function which is extracting the points now what i need to do is storing these points into an excel sheet which is the next step in order to do that i need to import the open by excel library it's going to help me uh, deal with the excel files and access them and you know insert data in excel then i'll start by defining the function to save points or the points to excel so i start def save points to this is why I choose the function name. Then the input is going to be the points, which I extracted from the DXF file, and Excel file path to define uh, or create and the Excel file. Now I need to create a new cell workbook and select an active sheet. So I'll create a variable called WB for workbook equal workbook bracket and WS for the active sheet equal WB.active. You've got to put these lines to access the active sheet in Excel. Now you have workbook underlined, and that's because we imported the full library. We need to be specific. So I modified the import to uh, from open by Excel import workbook. Now back to the function again. The first thing I will define or add the headers in the Excel. So worksheet or ws.append and I am I provide then the title for each column of the sheet. So I'm creating three columns, point number x, y. Then I need to add the point data, right? So I copied the previous for loop that I used because it is useful here. But instead of printing the points, I'm going to store them to the worksheet. So I did ws.append. So basically, it's going to add uh, this data to the Excel sheet. And I modified it a little bit so it kind of suit the append function, which requires only what sort of data uh, separated by commas. So I need the point number, the point zero, which is the x coordinate, and the point one, which is the y coordinate. And point number uh, increment uh, the same. And finally, w dot save in order to save that excel file and i will provide it with the path where i need to to save that excel you can save it as xls or xlsx if you want i'm going to do just um, a tidy up i'm going to, to put the functions next to each other now i've defined the excel file path where i need that excel file to be created and i'm going to use the save points function which is I've just defined which requires the points as a first input and the excel file path where I need that excel to be created or um, saved now if you the code you should see the results from the print function which we did before and you can see the point uh, excel file and it contains the 10 points I had in my drawing the last bit, which is an interesting one, which define a function to label the points in AutoCAD. And this will happen automatically. So I'll start with def to define that function. The function name is label points in AutoCAD. And imagine what sort of input it needs. It needs the points themselves. And I'm going to use the points actually in order to print the text or to specify the location where I need the 
uh, text label uh, to be positioned. And in fact, I'm just planning to use the Pi AutoCAD library in this case. So you can see in the code, I'm exchanging between EasyDXF and Pi AutoCAD, which is of course possible. And you can use you know, the functionality from both libraries in your code. So come in and enter. I'm going to start an instance of AutoCAD. So I'll define a variable called ACAD equal AutoCAD create if create if none if not exists equal true of course you can see the autocad is underlined because we haven't defined the by autocad uh, library or we haven't imported it so from by autocad import autocad and i need probably the a points as well and we'll continue the creation of the label points in autocad function after defining the acad variable i'm going to call for the prompt and say started this is just a check point or a check milestone in the code just to make sure that the label points in autocad working properly if it works properly it's gonna print out script started but the actual work is coming next which is looping through the points to create the labels let's see how i'm gonna do that so i start a for loop and again point in points so it goes over every single point in the drawing then what i'm gonna do is call for a point class and save the coordinates where i want to position this label so a point a point equal a point point zero point one so basically i'm inserting the label at exactly the same coordinate for the points themselves now i need to add the text of the label label text equal you can here put whatever you want i need to define probably a counter uh, like a point number so a point number equal one and i inserted the value of the point number in the label to be like a counter and added the core text so basically the first core is going to be core one core two core three etc uh, as the point number value changes then Finally, I would call the actual function for creating the label, which is from ACAD, the AutoCAD itself. I'm calling for the model space. So ACAD.model dot add text. And that's the main function to add the label. And you need to define what is the text for the label, which is stored in label text. And you need to define the position of that label, which is stored in a point, X and Y coordinates we defined before. And 2.5 here is the height of the text, which is again something required in that function. Point number plus one, this is just to increment and increase the value of point number by one each time. Finally, acad.prompt and give me a message saying script finished. I'm so excited right now. I want to see the result after defining all these functions. Now I will start by points in AutoCAD. So I'm calling the function I just defined, which is label point in AutoCAD. And I need just to define points where I need to add these labels. So it's the same points variable I defined before. So it should be fine if I reused it here as well. If I run the code now, you can see it printed out the points and it printed out even the prompt started script started script finished and if you look at the autocad it created these labels with the same text core and then the number of the core if i want to add a point a new point in a random position and i want to rerun the code and see what's gonna happen you can see now the labels are updated and the new core taken number 11 because it's been added lately so it's just got the following number let's say we are not happy really with this kind of order or the numbering of the cores i wanted to update based on the x coordinates let's say how to do that we've got the points list there is a function for lists in python called sort and you can choose there that you want to sort these points or the position of these points based on the x coordinate like what i did if I run the code, it considered the point number 11. And if I look at the AutoCAD, how you look at the numbering and the new point we added now is core seven, not 11, because it started 
uh, or did a renumbering of cores based on the total number of cores. If I add additional one, go and run the code, you can see there is 12 points uh, in the terminal. And if I go back to the AutoCAD, you can see now the new points are renumbered and all the labels are updated to follow that defined pattern. You can, instead of using you know, the X coordinate, you can actually choose any role you want. For example, based on the Y coordinate or even based on the starting point or the distance from the starting point. So the possibilities there are quite open. Um, you can change it to whatever you want.